Hey, what's up, guys? It's Steven and Misty here hey. at Fieldton Baptist. Uh, we are started, we, well, we did start a new series last week of Atypical. We're on the second week of that. And Misty, do you want to break down what last week was about? So last week was on Cain and Abel and Adam and Eve, the first family. They weren't um, perfect, but they were normal because they weren't perfect. And because of that, they brought Jesus Christ because um, that's who we needed to bridge the gap. So you yeah. want to use imperfect families. So this week we're going to be talking about how atypical families pray for each other. And my question for you, Missy, is when was the last time you had a big fight in your family? Ooh, <laughs> so I'm not going to get details, but I'm just going to say I got flowers and chocolate and a card this week. <laughs> and so it ended well. All is good. So, yeah. But there's a lot of families that are different in many ways. Um, but every family have their disagreements, right? Yeah. So a typical family might just say, hey, I'm going to ignore you or you're wrong and um, yell at you or whatever. But a typical family is going to go to God for help because really that's what we need to help with our reconciliation. Yeah, it makes me think of um, in, in the Old Testament, Abraham, who's the father of, of Jerusalem and Israel, um, had a cousin or a nephew, sorry, nephew, nephew yeah. Lot. And they yeah. got in this huge fight to the point where Lot moved away from <laughs> Abraham's big family. Fight. Yeah, big fight. And the, the city that he moved to was called, you guessed it, Sodom and Gomorrah. And, and it was a really big fallout and everything. And Abraham was brimming with anger. and he, But he prayed for his family. Yeah. He prayed for Lot. And it, it ultimately ended up saving Lot's life, that God spared Lot when he destroyed that, that city. Right. Um, and so as we, as we move forward, it's atypical in today's culture, but atypical families pray for one another. And it makes me think of um, James in chapter 5, verse 16. It says, Therefore, confess your sins one to another and pray for each other so that you may be healed. The prayer of a righteous person is powerful and effective. Mm -hmm. And I think that's just something we can really take into our families, that we pray for each other, and that when you're, when you're having a spot, a spot, Splatter. A splatter with your brother and sister that, that you can um you can pray for them. When your parents are acting unreasonable, you can pray for them or and pray for yourself that, that you can see things through their through their perspective. Yeah, yeah. And the first part of that verse actually says, Confess your fault one to another. And we have to learn to do that quickly because we hold on to it. We just bills and bills and our pride gets there in the way and we don't want to ever admit to anything. So to be quick to confess things is huge because it breaks down the wall between you. Yeah, absolutely. I find something that I struggle with a lot is is when I'm mad at my kids and I probably overreact. Yeah, just like they were digging holes in the, the yard yeah. this past week. What are you doing? Go for it. Uh, yeah, so I ended up having to go back and apologize for, for overreacting. And I think that can be a hindrance to us sometimes. When it's like a little brother or a little sister yeah. or something, you feel superior or, or higher up on the family food yeah. chain that... You have to humble yourself and, and apologize yeah. and, and confess your sins to everyone, not just Absolutely. your parents, not just to your mentor, not yeah. just to whoever you're, you're talking to. Well, on the way here today, I was writing, and we have a family member living with us, and I, I just kept being real short, and I finally went, I feel like I'm being grumpy. I'm so sorry. And the cool thing for me today was she was like, I didn't even notice because <laughs> she was still half asleep herself. But, I mean, just gotta do it quick and it's not easy it's not fun yeah. sometimes i can dig my heels in but the quicker we do it god can bring restoration the quicker, yeah, yeah. It, it heals itself yeah. so our our challenge to you this week is when you inevitably start being to fight with your family because it's going to happen especially in a quarantine especially when everyone's <laughs> on top of each other yeah. and then you're hurting um be quick to confess your sin be quick to pray for another one another because as atypical Christian families, that's what that's what we do. That's yeah. what we're called to do is pray for one Yeah, another. yeah. And so one of the questions is, how do you pray for your family member? Sometimes it's like, God, get them out now. Would you take <laughs> care of them? Is it okay, God, if I kick them down the stairs because they're bothering me? And really, what he wants us to pray is for heart matters. God, show me how to love them. Um, show me how to have understanding and compassion. And, and God, forgive me and help me to respond the way you want me to in a way that pleases you. So atypical family, we can love God. Yeah. All right, guys, we'll see you um, Tuesday night, 7 o'clock. We're doing the Zoom meeting. Uh, be there or be square. And if you missed that, we'll see you next Sunday. So we're praying for you guys, and we miss you, and we can't wait to be together again soon. Yeah, 7 p.m. See you later. Bye.